PedalsAndEffects.com with William, WMD. Hey. And he made a distortion pedal that, man, dude, Dead City. Yeah. Explain this. So this is a pedal. It's called the Goldilocks Planet. It is one of my guys named Caleb did the design for it and spent like months tinkering, playing around, and then he did the artwork and everything. So we're going to put it out because it's awesome. Yeah. So it's just really a distortion pedal and it's pretty basic. And so yeah, so we, really, we know what really volume voice. means, we know what tone sure, means, sure. presence, we've heard of gain, we heard of. Okay, the right. switch here is, okay, so three-way. Yeah, three-way diode clipping circuit. So in all the middle, silicon. all silicon diodes, they're 4148s. Right. Uh, in the middle, they're not connected at all. So it's full open. Full open, right. exactly. Uh, I believe it's up. They are symmetrical clipping, which is going to give you like a little bit more compressed kind of sound. Symmetrical. Yep, symmetrical. Clip your peaks like at the same amplitude. Okay. Yeah. And then down is asymmetrical, which will give you a little bit more level and less compression. But So one side's compressed more than the other. So like huh. vertical, like up and down when you're playing the strings. So we'll be able to hear this. You'll be able to hear it, yeah. Right. It's, a, it's most compressed. A little bit louder and then no compression just distortion right got yeah. you yeah and then the density knob which is not something we the see on distortion the density <laughs> knob is like a input high pass filter and where it sits like it, it's frequency basically uh -huh. so you turn it up and you get more lows into the distortion which gives you just a nice fatter warmer sound or if you want to thin it out and turn the gain up it's uh you know, more like traditional distortion. distortion. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Rip and lead distortion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we'll have, um, I'm gonna throw bass through it. Um, right. We'll have Nick go through, uh, and we'll just rip through this and see what happens. Cool. So, hey, we're here with Alex with WMD. Alex is gonna kinda knob spin while I, I rip some uh, some bass on it. Uh, basics kinda distortion right now, right? Uh, right now we're kinda oh. starting with the clean boost, actually. Oh, okay, so cool. This is just, We'll turn it off and let you... So what, <coughs> what I, I was going to say right now, the, the one you were hitting some spots on was asymmetrical. Uh -huh. Okay, so can you... Right there, it just makes this bass like way more throaty. And can you open the tone up like slowly? Yeah, yeah. Check out. So cool, now kick it symmetrical and let's see that total difference. Uh, same thing, scoop it down. Right off the rip, this is like a really cool sounding pedal for guitar when it's not just dimed and like gnarly sounding. Yeah, it's a definitely. really good just kind of like preamp, if you will. 
Yeah, most definitely. I mean, the you can use it as a clean boost. You got the volume all the way up and the gain down. But yeah, if you just crank the gain a little bit, you just get a little bit of break in on the, like mm. the uh, the harder you play, you know. And I really like taking the tone up on guitar and just kind of like getting just taking out those lows and getting that kind of like Michael Jackson like chicka chicka out totally. of it, you know. Awesome. It's tight shouting. <laughs>